Time to spray the hay field. Put a little nitrogen on it. Ought to get growing good now. So he's gonna run around here, got a little light shower. Go ahead and spray a little nitrogen out. And the good old permanent pasture should uh, really start going good now. I'll have to ask him how wide of a spread that's doing. That looks like it's about 60 some feet. About 60 feet, I think. Won't take long.
it on auto steer and everything. It's all auto steer, GPS, brake controller. You can see it's putting 30 gallons to the acre, and if I adjust my speed, it adjusts the flow to match it. Oh, okay. So, you know, you're always putting the right amount. Yeah. Of what is that? How wide? 60 foot? 60 foot, yeah. That was pretty good. I got that on video, so you can't say I lied there. I was like, that looks like about a 60 yeah. foot. So that's more of a, I guess it's a spray, but a drip more than a, yeah, with, a misty. Yeah, when you put nitrogen, that's why I came before and put the herbicide out okay. with the fan nozzles, because it you want to get more applied to the leaf. Where okay, this nitrogen, just needs to go in the yeah, ground. it needs to go in the ground, so those streamers, this time of the year, it's not quite as critical, but during the summer, it's very critical. I got you. It'll volatize and blow away. And that, just, that just helps. So you got the GPS chart over there, and it's yeah, spray, it, can, it's following. Mm -hmm. And then what do you have to do when you get to the end? Just uh, turn around. Turn around. Yeah. <laughs> turn around and hit the, I mean, the newer ones and the the nicer GPS systems they got. You know where it'll turn around. Oh, okay. Um, so that's why you spray the. You, but, yeah, watch it boost. Uh, yeah. So you spray the outer perimeter, and then it yeah. it cut it cuts the nozzles on as soon as it. Well, I got this foot control down there. Okay. So it's, it's cutting them off. You have to watch all your. I know somebody decided to put some, somebody decided to put some T post out, or like you know somebody would just put a barn out in the middle of a nice yeah, pretty hay field, wouldn't they? Do I don't know why. You gotta watch out for these <laughs> great uh, grading contractors. These transplants. <laughs> these transplants. Grading people like to come out here and. Yeah. This is going to turn out to be a pretty hay field, yeah, I think. it's going to work out. It's, you know, it was really dry this fall when we planted it. I was oh little, my God, I you, was you drilled concerned. it and it didn't rain for like three weeks. I come yeah. out here and I literally drove down the path and it was dust on top of where the seed yeah. was. I was like, I said, ain't nothing going to come up. I was like, well, the good thing is it hasn't even started to germinate yet, so. There's still a few weeds. They're, they're crinkled up and turning yellow, but they're not as dead as I'd like to see them, but they'll be okay. That young first year grass like that, I, you can't put as high a rate yeah. of 2 on as, as say now, mature. Now, is there anything that, I'm sure, when's the next time we'll have to fertilize um, or spray for anything? I normally do a uh, weed control in the summer, in June. Is there anything uh, we can put in there? This field gets wrapped up in fire ants for some reason. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can put something in there to uh, eliminate those. Oh. how much you want to spend them and they got stuff that uh, eradicate them and they got stuff that do a pretty good job and knock them back it's a lot cheaper yeah uh, i mean in the summertime there's i mean you see them there they'll be like one every yeah. 30 or 40 feet it seems like yeah. during the uh, that summer weed control application that'd be a good time to put out the fire ant control okay but yeah i'm pretty pleased with it it's going you can, see, you can see the rows here yeah, good now. Back there in the back, I think a lot of that's the ryegrass that came back yeah. up from always. But you can still see the rows of the fescue. Yeah. Um, we had a relatively dry winter too until the last month. Until the last month weeks, or so, yeah. Uh, and then such a cool winter compared to, you know, we didn't have any 70 degree days in November or December once it did get a little bit of rain. So we had pretty limited. Uh, Exactly. Again, it's right around the surveyor. Yeah. Stakes, trees. It's a pretty easy field to spray. If somebody didn't have yeah. four four stakes oh, out here in the field. <laughs> These the little wing tips on the end. You're, you're gonna be mad when I dig my power line right through the field right there to the cabin. So I'm gonna get it, they're supposed to, there's a, see that old house over there in the yeah. woods? There's a pole right there. And I'm trying to get an easement through there and then just run it down the fence line and across the field. If not, I got to come in from way up there at the front of the house and come all the way down. Is this Duke or Wake Electric? Duke. But he said it shouldn't be a problem to get one yeah, from over there. They won't, they won't charge you, I don't think, either. No, he said this shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be any fee for this. Oof. I 
honestly, until uh, I, I hadn't even been over here until uh, I actually drove back here till this morning. I sent you that picture. And I was driving down beside the road. I was like, you can see how much greener this is from when you sprayed it, what, two, about three weeks ago, wasn't it? Yeah, it's been for four weeks. I put a you know, little shot of fertilizer and then the weed killer and uh, just to kind of wake it up. Yeah. You're supposed to start next week on the little cabin there. Yeah. The pond's finally full now, so they can uh, come do it. It didn't fill up any of this summer. Recently, we really even had any I problem. know. And the last corner. Yeah. Well, that don't take too long to spray. No, it's not bad. So you're putting out, what, 30 gallons of acres? Yeah, I'm putting out 30 gallons. Since they just spray it, it holds a thousand, so. Gives you plenty of yeah. acres to go spray. Well, you sprayed right much because it gone yeah, down in the I tank. Came from the road. Yeah, but yeah, 30 acres. Well, if you take this, is just say 13 acres is what by the time you count the overlap. Yeah. All, um, you can go down the road if you want to once you get it folded in, it yeah. gets kind of wet in that yeah, I just, corner down there. I don't want to go down it with the boom. <laughs> no, you'll, you'll find a tree <laughs> right quickly. We got to use the road I built. I know you're used to driving on grass. A ten four. The cows ought to be happy. Yeah, I'm sure they will. You gonna try to turn them out and let them graze it after the first cut? Probably so. Yeah. Just kind of see how uh, everything's looking. If they're still working on that cabin, I ain't gonna turn them over here. It's just more I got to keep in. And he's out of here. Field is sprayed. He came about three weeks ago and sprayed nitrogen and 2,4-D on it to uh, cut back any weeds and just put another 30 gallons to the acre of nitrogen on it. I should have a uh, bumper hay crop, hopefully. So, all right, let's get back to work.